In today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, data-driven innovation and high-performance computing have become a critical engine of national development, groundbreak research and evidence-based decision-making across all sectors. At the heart of this digital transformation is the Big Data Analytics and High-Performance Computing Center of Excellence at Addis Ababa Science and Technology University, which is a state-of-the-art hub dedicated to harnessing the power of big data and advancing computing to solve real-world challenges. To explore the center's mission, its transformative projects, and its impact on science, technology, and policy, we are honored to be joined by Dr. Strafil Lulzaket, head of the, the Big Data Analytics and High Performance Computing Center of Excellence. Stay with us for an enlightening conversation that con uncovers how big data and high performance computing are shaping Ethiopia's future in research, innovation, and smart development. My name is Surafi Lulsagat Lahun. I am the head of the HPC, High Performance Computing and Big Data Analytics Center of Excellence. The Center of Excellence has a number of objectives, like the other Center of Excellence, like providing uh, trainings, doing research, consultancy services, and so on. So nowadays, it is very clear that data analytics is everywhere. If you go to business, if you go to health center, everywhere. But as a thematic area, we have some selected thematic areas, including uh, health data analytics, business data analytics, cybersecurity, agricultural data analytics, HPC, computational science, and so on. Yeah, so basically we do research as well as consultancy services. So if we focus on the research, we have theoretical as well as applied researches. So, for example, we have research focusing on modeling of disease, epidemiological models. We have data-driven optimization models which focused on finding the optimal decision support for a given scenario. We have data and AI-driven intervention for health. For, ex for example, recently we just completed a, a project funded uh, internationally on sexually transmitted disease, which is supported by uh, using AI and data-driven approaches. We have projects involving data-driven approach for education, for agriculture as well. We have nurture projects, which, uh, which involve multiple countries, including countries from Europe, which focused on capacity building, uh, which is very active. We have projects in pharmacy as well, drug discovery, uh, these are some of uh, the topics we are focusing on, recently working on. As human, when we make decisions, we depend on our experience, which simply is data. So whenever we are doing something, we are analyzing data, be it formally or otherwise. Okay? So in order to make a sound and rational decision, you have to see what is happening, what is the data telling you, and so on. So, regarding the establishment, the contribution to industries, we do have a very high impact because we completed projects with a number of industries, government as well as private, which is impactful. Uh, and most of those projects are demand-driven. So the industry will come a, a problem of their own and we try to find a scientific solution for that based on a previous data or some digital intervention. We have collaboration like uh, with Ministry of Health, Ethiopian Pharmaceutical Supply Services, which we are currently working on a proposal. Uh, we have collaboration with Trans Ministry of Transportation and Logistics. We have collaboration with many other private institutes as well. If we consider internationally, we do have collaborations with uh, institute in the UK, in Botswana, Rwanda, South Africa, Kenya. So some of those experts actually came and visit to deliver a short course seminar here in Astro as well in the past couple of years, two, three years. So the network is growing. So basically, 
those links, those collaboration, which is built on personal connection is coming to the center and the university is leveraging and uh, benefiting from all those collaborations. Currently, I think we have more than 75 members, including both students and staffs. So basically, whenever we have projects, we suggest or we recommend researchers, PIs, to involve students in their research. That's what's happening currently. A number of students are graduated or doing their thesis on projects from the center. Furthermore, we have the HPC computers, 